Hi, and welcome to another math lesson. Today we're gonna to be building off of what you guys have been working on with our balances. We're gonna be building off of what we've been working with with the candy that you guys just worked on last lesson. We're essentially gonna be making equations today, which is a fancy way of saying number sentences. And we're gonna be working with addition, um, the equal sign. Those are all some new things that are gonna be coming your way. So by the end of this lesson, you're gonna be a little bit more acquainted with those. Um, for this lesson, you are gonna need a page out of your book. It's this book right here. And you are going to need page number 85. It's got a purple fish on it. And it's got this picture of all these cool little mice. We'll talk about this page at the end of the lesson because there's a couple steps that you're gonna have to do. So I'll kind of go through those as well. But we are gonna, like I said, talk about addition problems. So the way that the, my book tells me to teach you guys about this is by using a thing called a domino. Now I don't have really gigantic dominoes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw some dominoes and then we'll talk about what they look like right up here, okay? Give me one second, I'll get everything prepared and then I'll be right back in just a second. So I'm gonna turn around. Yes. Okay, so hopefully you didn't get that part where I was saying, are you recording already? But I kind of ruined it right now. So a domino is a little toy. It's got a couple dots on it, a bunch of different colored dots on it, or um, a bunch of different numbered dots on it. So today we're gonna use kind of a drawing of a domino. So I'm gonna make one, and then we're gonna talk about two things. We're gonna talk about the plus sign. Kind of looks like the letter T. This is gonna be when we're adding things all together. And then we're gonna talk about the equals sign, and this is our kind of like a picture of our balances that I showed you guys. So this just means that we have the same thing on one side of it than on the other side. And we'll kind of talk about how that works as we go. So I'm gonna make up a little domino picture. Dominoes always have two numbers on them because <clears throat> you kind of build off of the numbers that are on them. It would look like this. It has two different sets of dots on it. Um, so on this side, this one would be representing the number one. And over here is representing number two, so it's one and two. So on this particular domino, the two numbers that it would show to you are, we look at this side first, one, and then on this side, it's showing one, two. So this domino is a one, two domino. And if we're using it in our addition equation here, or our number sentence with all of our numbers and what we're planning to do with those numbers, this thing right here says we are going to join those two numbers all together. So this thing right here is essentially, it's like me saying, okay, I want to know how many dots are on the domino all together. And the way that we figure that out is by putting them together. So we're going to join them. This is kind of a join those two numbers symbol. So on our domino, we can count across the way and figure out what our answer is over here. So it is one dot, uh, one dot plus two dots, and that's how we read it, one plus two. So I'm gonna count them just to make sure what our answer is. One, two, three. So my number sentence here would end up being one plus two equals three. Or if you put one and two together, you would end up with three things. And one way you can kind of just see that another way is by using my fingers. I can use my fingers. So I'll put one finger on one hand and that'll represent this. And I'll put two fingers on my other hand, okay? So this is representing this part of the domino. And if I'm adding these things, I'm asking, well, how many fingers do I have up right now? Not on, both, or not on one hand, but how many fingers in general do I have up? So I'm gonna count them with my nose because I'm out of hands. So I've got one, two, three fingers. So I've added one plus two and I got three, okay? So we're gonna try another little domino picture here. I'm gonna show you guys another couple numbers. You guys can always use your number strips to help you out with this kind of stuff if you want to. Let's say that our domino came with this many things on it. So let's say our little domino toy had this shown up on it. We're still working with addition because that's kind of what we're working with today. We're adding groups together. 
So our little addition thing's gonna stay the same. We're still gonna add these two numbers together, but what are our two numbers? Our two numbers are gonna come from the two different sides of the domino. So on this side, we're gonna count over here, and that'll give us our first number. Then we're gonna count over here, that gives us our second number. And then we're gonna count the whole thing, and that's gonna give us our third number, okay? So we'll start over here, that's the first thing that we need to know. So we go one, two. There are two dots over here. I know what the two looks like because I've been practicing very, very hard to make sure that I remember what a two looks like. If I don't, I look at my number strip to help me remember. So I know a two looks like this because I've been practicing it every day. Um, on this side of the domino, we have to figure out how many are over here. So we're gonna count those. I touch count them every time while I'm learning. I just, some people might know that this is a number right away. Touching counting helps me right away. So I do one, two, three. I know that a three looks like this, and there are my two numbers that I'm gonna add together. Right now this reads two plus three equals something, okay? The something that we're looking for right here is gonna be how many dots are there? Not on this side or this side, but just how many dots are on the domino, okay? So for that, we can count all the way across. We go start over here, and we're gonna count every dot, every dot that's there. One, two, three, four, five. So we have five dots on this domino. We, that gives us our answer over here for this addition problem. Because we have this thing right here tells us to put those two together and count them. So two plus three equals five. And that means we're looking to have the same thing on both sides of this equation, okay? So another way I could show this, if I bring these two dots down here, I could put one, two, for this number. I could put my three dots right here to show that. One, two, three, I brought it down here underneath this. And then this is gonna be our like little line to like see if we have the same thing on both sides. So five dots would be one, two, three, four, five dots, okay? So I've got one, two, three, four, five to show that number. Over here I've got one, two to show this number, and I've got one, two, three dots to show this number. If we're equal, like we're trying to be, then we'll have the same amount of dots over here on this side than we do over here. So we, if we count this way, one, two, three, four, five, we have five over here, one, two, three, four, five. We have five over here. So that means that our equal sign here is correct. We have the same thing on this side of the equation that we do on this side. So they're balancing out if we were using our little scales that kind of move up and down when you put the same thing in the uh, balance. This is a balanced equation is what we call it, okay? So today you get to make some of your own balanced equations and you get to do some addition or adding together of two different numbers. I need a pencil to show you that. So I'm gonna grab one real quick. I'm gonna... All right, so I got my pencil, I got my book. I should have had it ready. I don't know why I didn't, my bad. All right, so we're talking about this page with the mice on it. There's a couple goofy steps to this thing, but I wanna point something out to you that you might need to get close to here for a second. I'm gonna write it back up on the board. This was our plus sign, this was our equal sign. We had two numbers and an answer. You're gonna have that same kind of thing in your book. You've got a plus sign right here. You've got an equal sign right here. Just like my plus sign and my equal sign. So on your book it says, color the mice, then write a matching equation. So you're gonna write the thing with all the numbers that we put right here. All of these have different directions, so I'm gonna read them to you. This one says, color three mice brown. So I guess you will need a brown crayon for this particular lesson. So on this box right here, it gives you directions to color three of those mice. So what I want you to do is I want you to color three mice brown. I'm doing it gray, because that's what I have. And then you're gonna make your equation based on that. The equation is gonna be how many mice are still white and how many mice are brown. So in our case, we have 
how many white mice? One, two, three, four mice. So I'm going to put that in my first little box here. Hopefully you can see that. It's dark enough. Your second number is going to be how many mice you colored. So on this one, I colored one, two, three mice. Okay. And then our answer is going to be how many mice are there all together? It's kind of like that book that we read last week where we were adding two groups of mice together. How many mice are in this purple box? Okay. So for that, we have to count the white mice and the uh, brown mice or gray mice in my case all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So on our first one, how many white mice? How many brown mice and how many mice there are all together? That's going to change for each box because we have to do different colored mice on each box, okay? So for this one, it says color five mice brown. So that's going to change your numbers that you put in these boxes, okay? It's still going to be white mice, brown mice, and then mice all together, but it's going to be different depending on what you color. For this box down here, box letter C, you're gonna color two mice brown, and then your numbers will go in here after that. This one says color four mice brown, and then you'll get your two different numbers from that. Which ones are white, which ones are brown, which ones are, are how many mice there are all together. Those will go in those boxes, and that'll be your addition problems for today. So that is addition, that is adding two groups, writing equations. At the end of this lesson, you will have some practice with writing your very first equations. I'm very excited to look, I'm looking forward to seeing those. Um, remember that the plus sign just means we're putting those groups together. We're, we're taking two different groups and we're mixing them together and just saying how many things there are, okay? Remember the equation sign just means that we need to have the same amount of stuff on one side as we do on the other. So we just need to make sure that those are the same amount of things while we're doing them. So that's your work for today. Get it done. Take some pictures, send it back to us. We're looking forward to seeing it. See you next time.